Here's the room review of the Four Seasons first residence here in Cairo. Hi. First residence lobby. You're in a king room, a large entranceway. Nice big king. You have your Nice big desk. Lounge chair. And of course the big large windows. This one overlooks the pool and the Nile River. Check out that view. Look, you can see all the... So this is a, you know, now view room and the bathroom is back by the entrance. So you have here your coffee, coffee, mini bar, you have large closets. racks so you have your double doors to your bathroom with mirrors back of the doors you have your robes Separate toilet and bidet area. Large sink area, make a mirror. And of course you have a large shower. Interesting room service we have here, a club sandwich. Fries Madame, Madame. Oh, okay. Shawarma. Koshery. Woo <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the review of the room and it was informative and it helps you make your decision on which room you would like. Thanks for subscribing, which you will do. And anyway, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Doug has found the Caesars Casino. And this is the spa, which we're gonna see if they have another pool in here. Ooh, it smells like, it smells like spa. Show us the jacuzzi. <laughs> oh, we don't have jacuzzis together? We don't have them together, all separate. Oh, that's no good. Oh, okay, so this is jacuzzi, yes. but where's the one for two people? The, oh, so this is just ladies, yes. ladies, and then for men and ladies. So at least I could show him this yes. is what it would be. Okay, I got gotcha. you. We have a sauna inside, a shower room. Okay, and then you have, oh, so you do couples massages. Yes. Okay, so couples massages. That's a nice jacuzzi. And your shower. Yeah. Okay. And then sh sauna. Uh, bathroom. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. There's the stairs that lead to the casino.
Okay, so, well, that's the spa. It's a very lovely spa. Strong, cool leg spa. Okay, Mr. Douglas, here we are out at the pool at the Four Seasons first residence. And like some feedback, it is a very beautiful pool and surrounded by a couple of restaurants and bar um, and an, a couple of hookah lounges behind me. But what is your thoughts on the pool area? So my thoughts <coughs> is it is kind of like designed for being in the desert where it's going to be 120 degrees and blazing sun. So the fact that it's not in the direct sun is probably a plus most months of the year. And all these little like kind of lounge rooms are kind of air conditioned and nice and cool. Kind of like I know they put up like tents, little tents along here. So you can be at in the shade and in kind of a cool and then every, every once in a while when you go, want to go jump the pool, you go jump the pool. But this weather is not what this area is designed for. Right. Even though it's quite warm out, it's very, like, cool in the shade. Uh, it's warm. It's warm for us New Yorkers, but if you look at the staff, they have jackets on. Yes, they do. <laughs> it is very they cute. They jackets on. And they do have, all have jackets on. It and is very cool for them. The matter is it's like 70 degrees. It's warm by... windy and chillier out um, but it was like 80 degrees today anyways we're gonna do a little review of the let's do a little review of the food you had an American burger and fries how did they do the American burger and fries is kind of exactly like the little mall next door it's like some Egyptian saw a hamburger on a movie and they're like oh we can make American burgers so it's uh, very close, but a little dysfunctional. Mozzarella cheese, like, not a normal burger cheese. It's not really flavorful. It doesn't really yeah, taste like anything. Yeah, the cheese here in Egypt, while fine, is very, like, no flavor. It's like white, no flavor cheese, no matter what kind of cheese it is. And, we don't exactly have our big, amazing beef is uh, tasty and appropriately overcooked so we don't get nervous about it as Americans but um, not, not the greatest beef in the world. Uh, what do we have here? Yes. Yeah, it's oh, look Whoa, at that. Look at that. That looks amazing. I told you that's what I should have got from the beginning. <laughs> what was the name of the beer? Yeah. Oh, do you have um, uh, Saqqara beer? Now this is Lebanese mixed grill. Now this is the way to go. This is one of those times where it would be cool to be a bulimic and I could like just barf up the hamburger I just ate and order another order of that. <laughs> that is really good. It is really good. The meat is so good. The food here to go with is the grilled types. Oh. Definitely, this is the way to go, as opposed to the American foods. Which is no different than you don't go to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and order salmon. Exactly. So you don't go to the Middle East and order the you're, cheeseburgers. You're in Africa, remember? Yeah. They refer to themselves as Africans. Okay. You go to Africa and order the cheeseburger, it's not a good thing. Exactly. It wasn't terrible. But this is the way to go. The grills. This is a fail. This is outstanding. Yeah. Thing which you forgot to do. Okay. Make sure it's on. Okay. So 
Nikki forgot to tell you that the rooms are decorated with their own cartouches. And I can teach you how to read a cartouche. <laughs> this is for glamour. And this is for royalty. This is pla for beautiful flowers and plants. This is the blah, the balance, the balance for having balanced TV with all different languages available. And this is the blah, blah, blah for romance. And that's how you read a cartouche. This is the cartouche. This is the cartouche for the rooms in the Residence Inn. Residence Inn, right? Um, Nile Plaza. Nile Plaza. No, no for, sorry, yes. First Residence. First, first Residence. residence for, four Seasons First Residence. Custom Cartouche.